What's up, guys? Manually oh, posting. There's a flavor. All right. I'm getting caught up. Eighty nine Salah Striker in Team of the Week. Well, tickle mootedies. SAMDJ fifteen ninety just resubscribed for two months. Nice. Thanks. How's my day? What day is it? It's Wednesday? It's a Wednesday. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Um, gone. Out and about. Not streaming. That's where I was. Not stream. Rafa, how we at? Good to see some people I haven't seen in a while. Hanging out in stream. Anything else going on? 10 mil on elites. I got a bunch of sales since. Uh, I didn't. I didn't even put anything in the market on. Mm, Monday. I think I had about an 18 hour stretch. No. About a 30 hour stretch. Day and a half. Where I didn't have a single thing listed. I had a full inbox, nothing, nothing to do, just a completely, utterly full inbox, timed out. The most I've had in my inbox in a very long time. I'm still seeing some decent spikes in silvers. Uh, elites, some elites are moving. I've even seen a few masters go. I haven't uh, I haven't claimed anything since Tuesday. I've got about a day and a half's worth of sales. We'll claim them here in a minute. And then I can do some team upgrades. I got some stuff to rank up. I'd like to at least go up an OVR, maybe two today. Why aren't I fishing 62s? I'm fishing everything, but uh, I I don't have any of this stuff in the market. I'm running low on silvers, and like I said, I'm way behind on market stuff. None of this stuff is in. I'm just checking suggestions just to see if anything's bringing in decent numbers. Anything above 10,000, I'm selling. I don't think I, I don't have any more than 2,500, 3,000 in any of these. So three, four time markup, I'm happy. When do you think silvers will fall? They fell a couple of weeks ago. I mean, uh, all these 60s, I was out of 60s. And all this stuff I bought. Well, tickle mootedies. TMC1 just resubscribed for eight months. Eight months? God, eight months ago, that was... What, like, June? I don't even remember June. This whole last year is just a blur. Sunday was dishwasher day, yeah. Sunday was dishwasher day. And she's happy with it, by the way. Made 18 million this week. Good thing I stocked up on them at 2K a piece. Yeah. 60s, I bought. That's where we were buying 60s. They, you could get them for 1500 not that long ago. I mean, they were dirt cheap not that long ago. 
And I just keep checking every day to see where the silver values are. And right now I'm not, I'm just buying anything. Anything I can buy cheap enough to buy, I'm buying. Doesn't matter what OVR it is. I don't know how long this shit's going to last. It can't last forever. I mean, I would be totally excited if it did last forever. But uh, there's no way it can sustain. It can't sustain this kind of momentum forever. Champ Cole, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, you weren't buying silver still last week. Have you started buying again? I I'm I haven't stopped buying. It's just that um, when I see them at a, a low enough value to go heavy, I do. Are you going to buy... I would love to have Ultimate Van Dyke. I don't know if I'll go Ultimate Trent Alexander-Arnold. I still want Seasons Arnold just to have him. And I haven't I haven't been back to this yet. I've got it to where I only need... La Liga is the last one to play. So if I get... Even if I just get three here... What we got? 14 points for four. So if we do four points. We got... 14, or no, 15, 16 matches left. 16. Uh, so 56. In essence, I'll probably... I'll, realistically, I'll end up with four stars here. No, three stars. Three stars. And if we've got... Three stars there. So 84, 16... For Division 1, can I get some? I don't know. I, I'll finish out where I'm at and then go towards Legends. I haven't even started it yet. All right, boys. Prepare to be dazzled. Will we be able to generate 100 mil by next week to buy Ultimate Team of the Year? I, I won't buy Ultimate Team of the Year next week. I'll wait for that stuff. Uh... <laughs> Well, tickle mootedies. Politico JT just resubscribed for two months. Hi, Travis. Two months hey. now a Twitch subscriber. And Thanks one month top tier site member. Thanks for all you do for us and for this FM community. Keep strong. Be you and always chill as F asterisk CK. <laughs> all right, Jay. Hopefully this isn't a dumb question, but I have a load of rank ups and skill boosts to do. Do I... Do that or keep going on all the elites. Hmm. I've been reinvesting every corn into any, everything of mine. And I haven't done anything. I haven't done any upgrades. And if you look right now, I've got enough shards. Oh, shit. I've got a lot more than I thought I did. So I can do... I can... Shit, I can go up to 125 today. But the cost on ranking up... I mean, it's like 300000 a pop. I don't know. Uh, is it worth it to do it? Or should we just keep buying elites? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what's the best way to go. <sighs> I just don't know. I have about 70 elites that I'm not using. What do I do with them? Uh, wait until their value increases and then sell them. Yeah, I let's go ahead and claim. Let's claim. What was it? 252 sales. It's mostly silvers, but there's some decent value there. Let's say there's some, there's a few elites too. None of those oh yeah, I sold yet. Let's see if there's another one.
If, uh, let's see, what, how many was it? I can't even think. 252. So let's, let's do a poll. Uh, last, we'll just say last two days of sales. Um, starting at 213,000. Let's go three to four mil, four to five mil, five, six. Oh, why does it do that? Do a prediction. Manage prediction. Let's do Let's do eight mil. Over eight mil. We'll have made over eight mil. Let's do that. Okay, eight mil, there's a prediction. We're doing a prediction instead of a poll. I don't even know. If you look and see what's sold, there's there's a few elites. I think it's gonna be over eight. I'm on Legends, the final four divisions I only claim went for coin boosts and shards and didn't get a player because it was a bit hard. So that's a good decision. I I'm only getting what I can out of seasons. Three or four stars now, you know, above division four. And uh, just so I can get rid of the players that I've got set aside for those teams. And then once maybe the summer when, you know, boost is high enough and uh, we're where we're at, then I think I'll come back in and try to finish all the stuff I didn't get. Restarted seasons from season 10 to aim for 200 medals by end of the season. That's saying I'm just trying to get 200 medals. I, I don't even want to go into the legends till I've got the 200 medals. And at this point, I think team of the year. If, has anybody even checked and compared the stats between... Has anybody prepared the stats between the two? Between Trent Alexander Arnold, uh, the Seasons Arnold, and the like Ultimate, or like how, how much better is the team of the year than the Seasons? A ton better. It's just a matter of principle. I still want him out of a matter of principle. I see a lot of people buying elites for the SBC sell-off. Don't you think that will dip the values, or is it good? I just talked about this recently. There, I don't think you're gonna. Ha it's not if you're selling. If you're looking for SBCs for a sell-off, then you're not gonna make very many coins. It's that's not what you do with the elites. You don't sell them off. At SBC release. And. 13 mil. Yeah we were way over. 13 mil. 
Nice. Definitely over eight. I should have set that higher. Um, let's just let's just do it. Let's spend some money. Let's do some rank ups. The only thing is, is I don't have any I don't have any elites to use. <laughs> no elites, no elites. What do we need? Eighty four. 84s and 85s, so we have to buy some elites to do this. So we need six elites. Okay, they started to sell. Six, I need five or six elites. 84 or higher. Actually, let's just do 85. We need one 84. Let's, can we get them under 85,000? Nope. They going up? 95,000? 100,000. We're starting to see increases. Jesus. Maybe I'll wait. 104,000. Yeah, just screw it. It's just coins. I don't even care. Don't even care. People making coins, selling team of the year, hence the increase. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so let's get let's get six of these. Three, four, five, six. Six gone. Let's do rank ups. What do we got? There's one, and that should take it to 124. One twenty four. Who else are we gonna keep around a while that we're not gonna get rid of? We'll do Kenny. Will masters go up? Not not like elites. I doubt we see a bunch of masters going up in value. Three hundred thousand. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna buy Salah yet. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait until we've got plenty of time. What, what should you do with the elites during SBC? You should sell what you can, use what you can, and then wait. Because what SBCs are going to do is raise the video, raise the, the value. Um, there's the fishing video. Um, I know I'm going to... I'm going to... Yeah, I will trade in Beckham. Yeah, that was I don't know what I was thinking. We'll keep Fabino for a while. Is this the last one? No, one more after this. I wouldn't sell Masters right now unless you can get 1.6 to 1.8 million out of them. At least. We'll do, we'll do Chillwell. I don't even know how many of these players are going to stick around for a while. This should take it to 125. Six, 67,000 or 670,000? Is that it? Yeah, 125. There you go, 125. And we got a boost upgrade. Let's just do it too. We got plenty of coins. Take one more to 13. 
We're close. Look at that. We'll be able to do number one here soon. And then we won't be using it anymore once we get Allison. Allison isn't number one, is it? What is team of the week? Or oh, Shit, we got four minutes left. I don't even know if I've finished out where I'm at. What do we have for today? We got all that done. Allison is generalist. It figures. So if we switch him over, we won't upgrade that boost. Which is better, Chilwell or Robertson? I don't know. I haven't looked. I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have to do today? We did the pass. Did that. Did we watch the Beckham videos? Yep. When do SBCs come out? We don't know. We don't know. So I can I can effectively say Chilwell's going to make room for Robertson. Yeah, I don't even know where we're going to go with this. I I don't I don't see me putting Salah in over Castileo and I mean I'm going to grab I'm going to buy him. But, uh, I don't know. How much are they? How much are, uh, let's do this. What positions are we looking at? Left back, right back, Van Dyke, Allison. No, we'll get rid of Allison. Uh, don't want to buy Van Dyke, so we got... Arnold, Robertson, Salah, Mane, Henderson. Is that it? What's Tiago? If I had the choice between Chilwell and Robertson, I would go for Davies. <laughs> center mid, center mid. Let's see what do we got? Mane, Milner. Yeah, but is Tiago is ninety two? What about Henderson? Is he even a ninety? Or is Henderson an eighties something at center defensive mid? Yeah, I don't. I'm not going to buy anybody right now. I'm just curious on values. Just curious where everybody's at. Like left back Robertson. Right now, 97, 97, 10 mil. Mane, everybody's going to get Mane that bought the packs. That's why he's so dirt cheap. We're going to have... So striker Salah gets released today. 108, 101. Is, how's that compare to what we've got? I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm not buying anything right now. Blank has been acting up lately. Gets mudded. Easily these days and head his ass and set pieces. Is it reset? Team of the week. What do we got today besides team of the week? Eighty nine striker Salah, hundred pace, ninety four shooting. I'm not even opening any packs. I'm waiting. I'm not even opening anything. We got Wilson. Delaney. Yeah, I'm holding. I'm holding. <sighs> Emery Chan's doing better than him. Yeah. I'm not doing any icons. I'm not doing any of the icon stuff until um, they update the... Until they update the SBCs. 
The rumors are that they're going to make the SPCs easier. And I'm still holding out for that. Still holding out for the change before I do any of that kind of stuff. Still waiting. I think that's it. It was just Team of the Week today, right? Just Team of the Week. Nothing else really happened. Here we've got some normal stuff. We don't even have enough to claim anybody. Where are we at? Right here. We're heading towards Allison. We're 100 away. I think we can do that. Even if they make SBCs easy. I, it's not... I won't do the icon SBCs for the players. I would do it specifically for the boost. Eventually, we'll just claim all that boost. They did say it two months ago, but they didn't give any kind of a time frame, so I, I don't know. I'm waiting, because if they lower the SBC requirements but keep the boost the same, doing them now would be a waste. It would be a waste of coins to do them now. What am I going for? I I think I'm going for Allison and then um, Trent Alexander-Arnold and maybe Davies to sell. I don't know. I haven't made a decision. No decisions have been made yet. I know I'm getting Allison. Beyond Allison, I don't know what I'm doing. I can claim Trent now. I don't have enough to claim Trent. Oh, wait. I could just go for node 23 and claim Trent. Actually, I could do that, couldn't I? I could go to Node 23 and claim Trent. Alexander Arnold. Claim Trent, sell Wambasaka. See, I don't know, though, if I want... I don't even know if I want Trent. I don't know if I want Trent. Uh, because I would rather have Ultimate Trent with Reactions. Reactions, Sliding Tackle, Acceleration, Air Steps, and Strength. I would rather buy Ultimate than have to deal with Pace... And upgrades on pace. I don't know. I can't decide. I don't know what's better to go. Just haven't made a decision yet. I just can't. Um, why is FIFA renders? I do. I just, I'm too lazy to do it. Just... I'm not, uh, how do I say this? I'm not motivated enough to worry about it at this point. Just do it because you can open the nominee trade-in. True. It's a good point. We're not buying any ultimates. So let's see. We have 25 for the nominee trade in.
What do you get for getting Arnold? You get a hundred. So you do four nominee trade ins. Do we do it? Let's see. What do you guys think? So that's the that's the pull. What I could do is go to node 23 in defense I could claim boost and starter tokens then grab Trent Alexander Arnold for 100 use him sell Wambasaka then trade in Four here for nominees and see what we get. Or just wait and keep going for Allison. Could probably claim the coins today. Yeah, if I if I claim Trent Alexander Arnold, I'll probably use him for now. Yeah, I'll get I'll get Allison eventually. I'm still getting Allison. It's just I haven't decided which I'm doing. Okay, so you guys say to do it. Let's do it. Let's claim node twenty three. We'll claim Trent Alexander Arnold. We have ultimate tokens. We'll use ultimate tokens here because we're not claiming anybody. We get four. Op we can open these four times. Four packs. Let's see who's up. Caputo. At least we can finish the SBCs. These aren't worth. Are these still worth a decent amount yet? The other pack gives resources. This one? I'm not doing this one. I don't care about the resources. Who gives a shit about the coins? Plus, uh, so they're possible rewards. I'd rather have players I can sell at this point. I'm not that that invested in the boost. It's the last four mil. Marquinos. <sighs> Somebody worth it. We'll check their values here in a second. Lukaku. And last one. Master would be nice. Nope. Sterling. Ugh. I had an inflatable doll that looked just like that. Ugh. Let's check the values. I don't need them for anything other than the SBCs. Five point four for Trent Alexander Arnold. I think that's gonna continue to go down. Six sixty one, four forty two, one forty eight. Wow. Lukaku, a hundred and forty eight. Ugh. One mil for Sterling. If I can get a mil out of him, I would take a mil. Let's try it. Let's do nine eighty. We'll just see on four hours. Actually, let's do, yeah. 950. 9.59. about Marquinhos? C. We'll do 600. 6.99.
These we'll use for SBCs. We'll just hold them for SBCs. Wait, is it smart to sell Arnold for expensive than bump players at the end for cheap? If Arnold's going to go down, his value is definitely going to go down, his defensive player. I mean, if I was going to sell him, it, I don't think I'll ever be able to get that back out of him. Couple of elites just sold. Um, I don't know. What's he going for? 5.4? Best method to get coins? Do you think 12th nominee Messi is coming in the store? Probably. Probably. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold's going to be worth more now than in the future. What is it? Can we get about 6 mil out of him? Seven mil. You get about seven mil out of him. I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. Because I think as more people start to claim him, his value is going to drop. Ultimate's not going anywhere. Ultimate's not going anywhere. Value wise, where we at? 116, 101, 89 mil. I can see his ultimate coming down into the 50, 60 range, but not much below that. I don't know. Where's Where's Wamba Saka right now? Where is he at in value? Four and a half mil. Four point five mil. What did I do? Four mil. Four mil. So sell Juan Basaka for four. Keep Trent Alexander Arnold. So you're basically losing three mil on the transfer just to have him in over there, even with pace. I don't know. I can't decide. I don't even know what I'm doing. The reason he's not losing value is his boost. Reactions. It's reactions versus pace. Reactions versus pace. I don't know. No, de no decisions can be made. What are we looking at the difference here? What are stats wise? Damn, he's much better. Without the boost upgrade. Dribbling and agility. Slide tackles a little better. Strength's better, but everything else. So they say 7 mil. No, I think the values are going to come down. Let's just do it. Let's let's trade him.
Transfer the rank. Oh, we have new Star Pass stuff. Transfer the rank. We'll use him for a while. We'll see how he does. I'm not worried that much about selling him. And let's sell Wambasaka. And we'll try to get... 3-9 for him. Here's another one. Look at the value on this guy. Still at 3 mil. Still at 3 mil. And better chem limit, yeah. His value should start to drop. I've only got it. I'm still got. I'm holding on to him just for, uh, just for um, seasons. Just for seasons until I'm done with his league. A lot of these are just held for seasons to be able to use to get that out. I know he's really good and his value keeps going up. That's the only reason I haven't sold him yet. Sell Alaba or wait? Uh, hell, I don't know. I've still got all mine. I mean, I'm holding on to everything just because of... Uh, just due to team of the year. I know we're going to claim Alice at 600,000 coins. I'm just going to do it. I don't even care. It's just coins. We'll go ahead. Now we've got Allison in. Allison jumped to 13. Team of the year starter, Alexander Arnold. I still want ultimate. We won't trade him. We can sell him if we can. How much is uh, Robertson? Three point seven, three two. He has crossing boost. Hmm. Where does he? He comes from the nominee thing, right? We don't claim him in the path. He comes from whatever it is. Yeah, Hummels is there. So he's from here only. Right? Yeah. Crossing for premium. Was he the one that was different? If you go static? No, it's... Who was it that was different? Was it Tiago? Did they fix it? They fixed it. It was Robertson. We could buy Robertson, sell Chilwell. How much is Chilwell selling for? $4.5 
4.4, 4 mil, 3.6, What's the stat? I mean, how close are they? Robertson versus Chilwell. Andy Abatic cheered X100, we've got to get jobs, then we get the khakis, then we get the chicks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's, we get the khakis. <laughs> I thought he had said, then we get the car keys. <laughs> Gotta get jobs, then we get the khakis. Then we get the chicks. Uh, where are we at? Robertson? 91. He's a 91, isn't he? Stats-wise, how does he compare? 97, 72. Crossing. Marking. Hundred and eleven marking one of four dribbling. Marking's the same, better slide attacking interceptions. I don't know, I just I, I like the reactions a lot better than crossing. A lot better than crossing. Uh, I think we're going to hold off on Robertson. There's still a chance that we'll end up grabbing him. You know what I mean? That we can claim him. Yeah, I, I prefer reactions. I mean, I want Robertson over there, and I'll probably put him in, but I think I can get him cheaper if I wait. I don't want to put a bunch of money into him now. We'll spend that 9 mil on buying elites. I think we've done all the upgrades that we can. I don't know. <sighs> Did they announce lineups today? Did they announce lineups for today already? How much am I fishing silvers right now? I don't have any in the market. None are in the market at the moment. Funniest movie I've ever seen. Like, ever Forever, ever, for total, for real, forever, ever, ever. Uh, I would say either, hmm. Schindler's List, The Last Temptation of Christ. Or, no, I'm kidding. Uh, it would have to be Bruno. Probably Bruno or uh, Team America. Yeah, Bruno or Team America. Bruno is better than Borat. Bruno is better than Borat. And Sausage Party would be up there, too. And all of those I saw, all three of those I saw in the theater. And in the theater, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. In the theater. Liverpool will finish seventh. Allison is injured.
Ah. <sighs> Jesus. Team America. Yeah. Yeah, Schindler's List was rough. I you know, I had to watch that in in school. It's probably my freshman year of high school when it was released. We watched that at school. Just chilling out here watching my dog take a shit. Ugh. Gigolo Bigolo? I've never heard of that. What the hell? Wrong direction. I hate this passing triangle shit. It's just annoying and time consuming. Ugh. And again. I hate this thing. Kingpin? With uh Bill Murray and Woody Harrelson? God damn. You know what I've watched I've I think I've watched it twice in the last six months is movie forty three. Movie forty three. God that's a good movie. That's a terrible movie, but it's really good. And it's got everyone in it. If you've never seen movie 43, you will be blown away by the cast. It's got everybody in it from, uh, holy shit. Uh, let's see. Jason Sudeikis is in it. Kristen Bell's in it. Justin Long's in it. Uh... Not Katherine Heigl, it's, um, shit. Halle Berry's in it. God damn, there's a lot of people in it. Still got that 98 Royce from Chain Pack, not using him at the moment due to Kim. Can't decide whether to sell or not. Ugh. I don't know. I've got a lot of players I haven't sold yet, and I haven't made decisions yet if I'm selling them. I don't know. Movie 43. It's a very weird, very strange movie. It's a... Kate Winslet and Hugh Jackman. Yes. I forgot about that. God. Yeah, I forgot about that one. That that's that might be the funniest part of the whole thing, too. Is uh Yeah, it, Kate Jack, Kate Winslet and Hugh Jackman. God, I'm tearing up. Speaking of, you've got balls. I like balls. Hugh Jackman. 
Virgil or Ramos? Team of the year for head to head. Well, Virgil. Am I watching the Super Bowl? Is that this weekend? Is that this weekend? No, I'm not watching the Super Bowl. Uh, what we do is we will watch. Um, I'll probably record something and watch it this weekend instead of the Super Bowl. So, like, we'll we'll record the Liverpool Man City game on Sunday. We'll record Sunday's game, and then we'll watch it. Yeah, I don't ever pay attention to when the Super Bowl is. The wife does. And then the wife, she plans our own football party. But uh, not the Super Bowl. We won't watch. We won't watch Super Bowl. We we'll, she'll what she'll do is we'll watch one of the games from that day instead, and then just fast forward through to see whatever commercials are there. In the defender's path, what are the best picks purely to make coins? Oh. oh. To make coins, I think you're going to get the most coins out of the starters in the defender's path. I think the I think the way to go would be there to get to go for Hummels in Node 23 or Allison in Node 23. Maybe Hummels. I haven't looked at the value on Hummels yet, but that would grab that is enough to grab you a starter. You can grab a couple of starters and sell the starters. That's probably the most you can do for coins. Deuce Bigelow. Jake Mitchell? Who the hell is Jake Mitchell? Deuce Bigelow was with um, Rod Rob Schneider. It was an old Saturday Night Live skit. Yeah, I'm fatigued. That's a good way to put it. American Gigolo. No, that's... uh, Is that Robert Gear Or no, Richard Gear? American Gigolo? Is that Richard Gear? Yeah. Richard Gear. That's the movie where he has a pet hamster, I think. Gerbil. Pet gerbil. You know, I've never seen The Dictator. I've never seen The Dictator. That's another Sasha Baron Cohen movies. Ugh. They never made a sequel to Deuce Bigelow, did they? They did make sequels to it. They did make sequels. In 2005, it's called European Gigolo. Oh my God, Rob Schneider was in it too. Jesus. So bad. Zohan, that's the Adam Sandler one where he's a hairdresser. Shit's bad. If you don't have enough elites, should I wait till the next market crash and skip SBCs? 
You mean to buy instead of buying them? Is that the question? Like, should I not buy elites during, um, like after the SBC's release, just because they should be cheaper later? I mean, if, I, it depends on what the reward is for the SBC's. There's been, there's only been one day, there's only been one match here for the, the top level match that's given me problems. And that was, uh, I think it was the PSG match. I had to play a few times just to get a, I think it was the one that had a defender's goal. You had to score a defender's goal. The rest of these things have been super easy. Is Davies worth it? it? I mean, is he... Has anybody used him? Or are we just going based on his stats? Was it the PSG match? Was that the one that required goals by defenders? Defender Embrace. What's the one today? What is this today? Midfield, attack. Oh, this will be easy. PSG. It'll cycle back around, I'm assuming. Oh, we have a full match to do this too. And we just have two goals, a midfield and an attack goal. We should be able to auto play this after a second. I I went ahead and claimed Arnold today. I don't know if that was a good decision or not, but I went for Arnold uh, instead of Davies. But if, if you're going to get Davies, Allison and Virgil van Dyke. I think you can still do Allison and... I should be able to still claim... Um, I'll still be able to get either Davies, Allison, Van, Allison, and Van Dyke. I don't know, but it, if you've bought the uh, pass, you can definitely claim multiple starters. I need a midfielder, don't I? We'll go for a Beckham goal. Or a Milner goal. Milner goal works. Allison and Virgil van Dyke are free to play. You can grab Allison and Virgil van Dyke free to play. You may have to supplement a little bit of gems to get in there, but you can easily claim Allison and Virgil van Dyke. Yeah, I was out on uh, Sunday. I was putting a dishwasher in. 
It took a lot longer. Adesh! Thanks for the raid! How are gems not free? Gems are free. That's they're literally the definition of free. Milner or the nine foot tall Resident Evil lady. Oh, that should have been a goal. How'd I get the Pikachu jersey? It's uh, April Fool's Day. It's an April Fool's Day jersey from seasons ago. Can you get both Davies and Arnold? E I you can get anything you want. I don't know what the cost is for Davies and Arnold. Kenny! Yeah. <sighs> if you get Ultimate Trent, what will you do with the Seasons Trent? Uh, nothing. Just keep it to keep it. <laughs> Who's going to win the Premier League? Okay, here's uh, here's the poll. Sheffield United, Man City, or Liverpool? It's an interesting poll. Surprise, motherfucker. How much will Trent Alexander Arnold go down to? I don't. I mean, I, I, I would assume that his starter should should end up between four and five is where I would guess. That is a straight up hundred percent guess, though. Definitely Sheffield. <laughs> Our icon's still worse at this stage just for sale boost. I'm not going to claim any of the icons, but I'll definitely do their their uh, SBCs. Just for the boost. No different than we did all those skill boost uh, SBCs last season for the the pointless um, what were they for kits it was all the kit SBC's last season we still need 15 more goals versus what's the thing for today Sounds like a clown getting beat up. That's my kids. They don't know how to be quiet. Was the SBC Master Laster? Are we talking about um, Sancho? Sheffield United wins it all.
Yeah, Sancho was free to play. You just had to do the SBCs to get him. It was a lot of work doing all the SBCs, though. Team of the year energy offer will get eight or reduce. The energy officers, they stay the same. They don't change. No man, you know, vote. What do we got? 20 meter goal. Those suck. 20 meter goal. The, the versus one isn't bad. It's the head to head one that sucks. The head to head goal from 20 meters sucks. I hate dealing with that. Ugh. What else do we have? Team of the year, Beckham. Let's watch. Can we open an offer? Do we have an offer we can open? 85. We can watch two videos and open an offer. I'm not saving the offers. I'm not holding the offers until we can open up the big ones. I just I just don't care that much. Why do I always de-rank before reset? What do you mean? Will we get more endgame Liverpool players in this season and team of the season? I don't know. It's I, See, being a Liverpool fan, this season is, is strange. Because I feel like I know they're in the, the top portion of the table. Um, but whether or not they, they're performing up to par, I don't think they are. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot in team of the season. Sandbagging. Oh, why do I drop down? It's not, I, I really haven't done that this season at all. I haven't been dropping down on purpose. I did it once just to test stuff out for league matchups, but I'm not dropping. I'm just, I auto play. I auto play everything. Everything. Auto play. Versus head to head. I just auto play it. I don't even, I don't put any effort in whatsoever at all, any bit. So I fluctuate between like 970,000. Fans or cups up to like 1.3. And it just has to do with whether or not the autoplay is working or if I actually do sit down and try to play. Like some of them, it's, it, you know, if you have to do chip shots or volleys or stuff like that, I'll play a few matches to get them, but that's about it. So I'm not really sandbagging anything. It's different. They changed all of it. Now it's about grinding, it's not about winning. What do we got? Let's open a pack. Coins. Habla Espanol. Uh, no. <laughs> Jota coming back will put Liverpool back on track. Honestly, I, I the I've been more um, disappointed. I've been a lot more disappointed with Tiago than I have anybody. Like, I just feel like he's struggling. Virgil van Dyke or Tertios Ramos? Uh, definitely van Dyke. Davies is on subs. They do have him in the list for subs already. I don't know. We're have, has any? I mean, is he decent? I'm assuming he's a gold. 
Ben Davies, right? No, that's not Ben Davies. There he is. President EFL Championship. I think it's... I mean, when you need a center back... I don't know. It's not that he's... It's not that Tiago's not doing good. It's just that... It's... I don't know. I, I do expect more out of him. But even... Even, like, some of his... You know, they I, I keep hearing the announcers talking about how he's a magician with the ball and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and I'm, and I'm going, yeah, I loved him at Bayern. And then you watch him play and you're like, holy shit, that, like connect a pass, buddy. Come on. Seriously. It's, it's been, it's been hard to watch him. I haven't seen any huge moments where I feel like, uh, he, he's kind of lived up to the hype. Just needs time. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I felt it's. I felt like Tiago. I feel like he's better than what he's playing, and I I understand he needs a little bit of time. But I feel like he he's, he should be a lot better than where he's at. Made more mistakes than my dad when he went from. Yeah, it's just, just a lot of mistakes. It's a lot of stuff. Like every time they show, every time they show his face, he's always like. Mm. I'm like, mm. yeah, like I know. Oh shit! Damn, mm, damn. It's it. <laughs> Tom's party. All right, where are we at? It's almost three o'clock. I don't even know. I I still want to. I I would love to finish seasons this week. We only have a couple of teams left for seasons, too. La Liga. And I'm not even using a full La Liga squad. Here's, you know what? I don't have anything else to do. Have I seen the da the David Luiz red card? Yes. Dipshit. Okay. Let's let's do something that's let's do something that's more fun than than the dumb shit we're doing right now. If I'm doing a Okay, let's let's do this. Hmm. Let's look at Oh, this will be good. Give me a minute here. We're, we're Need to think, okay, if I'm going to do the, uh, if we're going to do a, a Amazon watch party, hold on, uh, Jay says, might be controversial, but is the Bundesliga just a weaker league than the Premier League? Havertz, Werner. Tiago have all come from Germany and struggled. I okay, here's my take on it. I love Bundesliga and I watched Bundesliga more than um 
Premier League up until a few years ago. I preferred the Bundesliga. I disagree that the Premier League is more physical. I feel like Bundesliga is way more physical than Premier League. The referees in the Bundesliga always let almost everything go. I feel like Premier League is faster paced. To me, the difference between Premier League and Bundesliga is the the quality of the teams on average. I think there are there are more top tier teams in the Premier League than in the Bundesliga. So you have like there are a lot more Sheffield Uniteds in Bundesliga than there are in Premier League. It's just there's a bigger gap. It's like watching to me it's like watching Serie A or um it's like watching Serie A where there's just a, a bigger gap in quality from team to team. See, I, I think there's more than just Bayern. You've got Bayern, you've got Dortmund. Um yes you can. Bayern, Dortmund. Um, I used to love mines. Uh, Stuttgart. There's there's some decent teams, but the balance, yes. Premier League's balance is better. I don't know. I don't know. It's different, though. Serie A, I don't feel Serie A is, is competitive. Seven good teams. I, I think saying seven good teams is a stretch. I, I it's I, I I can't watch I can't watch Serie A. I just can't do it. Can't do it. To me, it's, it's all the matches are boring. There's certain teams I just can't watch too. A Spanish John Joe Shelby. Something about John Joe Shelby, he always looked like the bad guy in an 80s Bond film. And I know it's I know he's he's bald and it's but there's something about him. He always just looked like the quiet bad guy in a Bond film. All right, so if we're doing a watch party, a prime movie watch party, I need to pick out a movie. I need to find a movie and then figure out if this shit's going to work, like what we have to do. How we have to do it. Oxlade looks like a crocodile. Serie A and Bundesliga is, are predictable. It's like it's scripted. Yeah. The advice on legendary division tier one matches. I, I haven't even gotten that far yet. I haven't played any of them yet to give you the, any advice. Can't help you. Talk to me next week. I think I'm going to try to finish that stuff this week. I need to find I need to find some prime I need to find a prime movie that's worth watching. Something in prime that's going to be worth it. I'd rather do Let's do let's a, a horror movie would be best. Good film or a trash one? I, I think I want... I think... I don't know. Like, I want something I've never seen before. And probably... Like... Oh, Cabin in the Woods? Cabin in the Woods is on Prime now? I haven't seen that in a long time. That would be a good one. Let's do let's do uh, Fifty Shades of Grey.
Premier Salah's the best striker of all time? No, I don't agree with that. I like Salah, but come on. Okay. So, Cabin in the Woods. Hi, Diddy. What you doing? Cabin in the Woods. What else is on here? Overlord. Crazies. God, there was a bunch of movies. Midsummer, God, that was a hard movie to watch. Here, let's do this. Okay. Now we've got it. We gotta pick out a movie. I gotta find something worth watching. What do we got? Midsummer. Cabin in the Woods. See, I like Cabin in the Woods. Pee Wee Herman. Not doing it right now. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to pick something out for. Whenever we do decide to do this, then we'll plan a day. Cabin in the Woods. That would be good. Could watch Uncle Peckerhead. That's a weird movie. If you've never seen Uncle Peckerhead, that is a weird, weird movie. It's about this guy who becomes a roadie for a punk band, but he's a demon. It's very strange. It's a good movie, but it's very strange. Jeepers Creepers. I spit on your grave. Yeah, that would be too far. I, I watched. See, years ago, the reason I want to do this is years ago, um, there were a group of us that used to watch. We would get on Skype together. It's like five or six of us. We would get on Skype together and all start a movie at the exact same time and watch it together. Just just really horrible, just violent movies. And, and one night uh, we watched I Spit on Your Grave and five of us started it, two of us finished it. There were only two of us that watched the whole movie. Creep Show 2, The Ring. I'm leaning towards Cabin in the Woods so far. Saul, The Purge, I, I hated The Purge, Dead Rising, those are terrible films, terrible movies, and not even good terrible, it's not like, it's not Sharknado. The Babadook. Uh, it's got to be one of these movies too. One of the, the prime movies. You can't just watch anything. Hatchet. See, what's funny is, is this, the movie Hatchet is actually produced. A friend of mine produced Hatchet. 
He did Hatchet and uh, the second Hatchet. He did Frozen. There's actually a movie called Frozen that that's that was out before the Disney movie. He did that one too. He's a good friend of mine from high school. Halloween? Did we do I pass Halloween? Is it in here? Could do House of a Thousand Corpses. Go Rob Zombie. Suspiria. They remade Suspiria. Blech. Why would you remake that? The Broken Chairlift. Yes. Frozen. It's a really low budget movie set on there it's about these guys that get stuck on a um a chairlift at a ski resort. Yeah, he made that one too. Some beavers. Wow, the 1995 Piranha. That must they must have remade Piranha too. They remade that one. Machete is that's not too gory. I wouldn't be worried about that being too gory. Now in Seminoid, that might be too much. That's a messed up movie. Seminoid. So far, I'm leaning towards Cabin in the Woods for the first one. Because it's kind of funny. It's it's messed up. It's entertaining. It's gory. I think we can get away with it. I'm afraid to go too far the first couple of times. Final destination. Deep Star Six. God, that's a good movie. Another creature flick. Rudger Hauer in Split Second. There's a flavor. See, here you go. Ghoul Scout Zombie Massacre. Four girls find themselves in a reform school run by an evil woman that joins forces with her equally demented scientist brother. Jason Muse. never seen a horror film with Jason Mewes in it. Zombieland's not on uh, Prime. I would do Zombieland. That would be a no-brainer. Repo. That's not bad. Hmm. There's Hatchet 3. Yeah, I went to school with Mark Ward. Mark Ward is, uh, he was the producer for all those films. Blackwell Ghost. There we could go. The original 1972 House on the Left. That was another one. We watched a remake of The Last House on the Left. My group of friends that was doing this. 
watched that, watched Crazies. Probably did about 20 or 30 movies over about a year and a half period. It was an every weekend thing. Is that a remake? It's the original remastered. Phantasm. If I watched it both chapters, yeah, I saw them both in the theater. I just rewatched chapter two not that long ago. I watched, or no, I rewatched the first chapter with my wife. The Return of Swamp Thing? Is that Linnea Quigley? That looks like Linnea Quigley. See, like a really old, obscure Elvira Mistress of the Dark. Too bad it's PG-13. Mama? I never saw Mama. That was the one where she was kind of like a wraith. They find the girl in the cabin and she's feral. There's a lot of shit to choose from. Nineteen eighty eight Zombie Nightmare. Ooh, they they colorized Plan Nine from Outer Space. Why would you take the effort to colorize Plan Nine from Outer Space? Gremlins, Gremlins isn't on here. The, la the Last Lovecraft, The Relic of Cthulhu, Bubba Hotep. I think I haven't seen anything that I would do over Cabin in the Woods at this point. American Werewolf in London. Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. Bad Taste. Bad Taste is in Amazon Prime. Bad Taste is in Amazon Prime. See, I actually have still sitting here. This is one of the greatest movies ever made. Bad taste. Bad taste. That's what we're doing. That's so much better. That is so much better than Cabin in the Woods. Bad taste. Holy shit. Oh, that just made my day. That made my day. Ba bad Taste is on Amazon Prime. Ah, Bad Taste. Ah, so good. 
Okay, so if you don't know what bad taste is, it's Peter Jackson's first film. Peter Jackson is the if you, Peter Jackson did Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, King Kong. That's Peter Jackson. Okay, he's from New Zealand. Bad Taste is his very first movie. Was made in New Zealand. Oh my God. That's what we're doing. That's the first one. Hands down, that's going to be awesome. All right. That's where we're going to leave it. That's what we're doing. Now I got to figure out when. Bad taste. There's nobody to raid. Thanks for hanging out. Those that are still here. Yeah, I'm excited. That's awesome. That is. God, that is a good movie. It's so funny. It's messed up. Might be one of the goriest movies ever made. It's so low budget, disturbing, awesome. Oh, that that was that was that made my day. Good. All right. Uh, let's see. Think there's anything else? Is it horror? Yeah, sorta. Sort of horror. It's it's kind of comedy horror. I would say, yeah, it's probably more weird than it is anything. All right, guys, uh, we'll be back probably Friday. I won't be on tomorrow. It'll be probably Friday. All right, guys, thanks a lot, and we'll see you then.